something today that is very popular especially on my car and that is going to be black wheels and it's very popular because it seems like something that everyone really likes really wants or has and just loves really what I want to tell you guys is these are temporary wheels they are black they are plastic dip so I want you guys to think about that and they are uh, winter wheels and they are borrowed from my buddy Mike which I have mentioned in a lot of other videos because I am very thankful to have them on my car while my regular competition ZCP wheels are getting refinished um, stick around for another video for that I filmed half the video but I didn't film the other half of the after and I'm also getting new rear tires the point of this video is to tell you guys why I've discovered in real world testing real world experiences why so you can see black wheel up there too uh, why I would not ever get black wheels, especially for this car. I actually did put a few things in my phone just to make sure we're organized. And the number one reason, which you guys can probably guess, and the number one reason you guys can probably guess pretty easily is dirt. So dirt on black wheels is a much bigger contrast than even on my sort of set in aluminum color, the brighter, you know, aluminum color wheels that are normally on this car. Really that's the biggest issue for an M car. The brakes dust a lot more. The reason for that is just because the braking is more efficient. Um, more dust usually means more braking, not always, but these brake, the brake dust on this car is easily twice as bad, probably more than that, than on my 335 and E92 335i. So that car dusted almost nothing compared to this. I could probably drive for months without cleaning the wheels and you wouldn't really be able to tell. I'd be able to tell, you wouldn't be able to tell. So number one reason why I can't stand black wheels is because of the dirt. And really the dirt's worse on these wheels because they are plasti dipped. They are not, they don't have a clear coat. They're not as slick. There's not a coating on them. It's plastic dip with is very porous. So that you have to take that into account. I'm fully taking that into account, but I have seen plenty of other guys with M3s, M4s, whatever, M6s, M5s that have really bad brake dusting issues and really the only way to fix that is changing the pads to something different or having carbon ceramics or something like that so when the brake of course the brake pads are in really good shape on my car but when it does come time when i finally get sick of the brakes dusting i'll probably get a different pad that is some sort of carbon ceramic or some sort of composite or something like that that dusts a lot less. Another reason why I'm not really a huge fan of black wheels, especially on my car, is that it seems like it's kind of overdone. You know, the whole Stormtrooper look is very predictable nowadays. When it first came out years ago, it was really cool, and I still really like it. It's, I don't have anything against it, but it's like black wheels on a white car. Okay, like it's not, it's not anything crazy. So you might as well do a really clean, you know, OEM plus setup. I have the spacers extremely crispy clean wheels for me i think that is a more appealing look especially on this car i mean you can't go wrong when i see like an f80 m3 with those double black uh the double five spoke wheels that are black just kind of lowered really clean stance that car looks proper but on this it doesn't look right to me i think when i naturally think of my car i think of those oem competition wheel another reason which i know sounds really silly and maybe like oh you're such a basic bitch for here in insta ho or whatever but when you take pictures of the wheels or the car with black wheels it's really hard to take a picture of without it looking like there's wheels missing especially if it's not bright sunny or especially if the sun isn't shining towards the car so it's very very finicky to get a good picture even with a dslr fixing all the settings it's much more difficult with a dslr it's much easier don't get me wrong you can still do it um, but it requires editing if you want it to come out and you want to be able to see the detail Especially of a wheel that has some detail to it. You're not going to see it. You just aren't So that is a pain, you know, it's a pain point for me It doesn't really matter because I was getting my wheels refinished anyways So I already made my decision, but 
Um, this does help reinforce that I did make the right decision. I didn't want to make the competition wheels black. Like I mentioned, I've seen them before and it just doesn't do it for me. The bright, the brighter color, which normally sounds weird, especially for me because I like the black accents with the white. It's really great. Um, I just, I just wasn't feeling it. So that's another reason. And then really the last reason, which is very, very specific to my E92 M3, is when I think of my car, I just don't think of black wheels on it. I've never, when I liked those cars, when I really wanted one, when I wanted an E92 M3 or even an E90, I never really imagined black wheels on the ones that I wanted. Like I didn't want a black car. You know, black's the most popular color and it wasn't really that special to me. So I wanted a white, a white one, which I know is kind of in the same category, but I really fell in love with the Alpine white. It's, it's very clean when you know you have the right wax or coating or whatever on it, it looks really amazing but i never really wanted an e92 m3 with black wheels i don't know why it sounds really weird um like i would totally put like black wheels on my jeep uh well I, technically i have them on my, my wheels on my jeep are mainly black right now check out that video if it's not up yet i know this is going to kind of be i don't i wouldn't say offensive but it's definitely going to mess with some people you know everyone has their own opinions and uh, a lot of people really like the black wheels. I mean, it looks cool right now. Holy crap. <laughs> My friend Jeff literally just texted me and said, there is a white M3 like yours with black. Wow, it's like he knew I was filming a video. I don't know, I guess that kind of is really it. I've had these wheels for a week. I have them for about a week more, but unfortunately, since they are winter rubber, I'm not gonna be driving the car because I don't want them to like melt or like whatever the heck happens. It's 70 today, it was like 35 this morning. It's like a crazy, it's like living in the desert. It's like super cold at night and then pretty warm during the day. I remember when I, actually when I picked the car from Arizona, it was that exact same thing where frost in the morning, frost was on the windshield, but then during the day it was like hot as hell. So it's kind of like uh, Arizona right now. I will give you guys a quick walk around. I'm sure you've seen it but this is kind of what they look like. This is one day of driving. I guess, you know, the rears especially look just fine. And uh, the lighting might be a little off in the garage right now, but hopefully the camera, oh, are you gonna adjust or no? Yeah, see the camera is not even adjusting. Let's go over here. Yeah, see, <laughs> I know this is very dependent on the light, but as soon as there's light around, I mean, even with this auto, there we go. So yeah, so that's what they look like. I mean, they're they're really narrow just because they're winter wheels, so it's not really a fair comparison. But that's it. And look, look at that. Yeah, I'm freaking crazy, guys. I kind of like this sort of like sitting and talking to the camera situation with the M3 in the background and the detailing stuff over here. There's usually a car here, which. Uh, is in the way of me doing fun videos like this. So anyways, I know this was kind of a chill video, but I wanted to talk about it. It was something I was thinking about. I know a lot of you guys are commenting on, keep the black wheels, do this, do that, do all this stuff. You guys always have opinions, which is sweet. That's kind of what makes this channel fun. Is there was a few other colors, actually, more than one, that the place that I took them to, which I'll go in more detail in the other video if you're interested, um, they. <laughs> Kind of the girl there was sort of telling me, you know, if you're paying all this money, you know, why would you do the exact same thing? And it does sound silly in a way. And I normally am a huge proponent of, you know, getting your dollar as far as possible, kind of in, you know, depending on the situation. So I kind of felt like, well, if I'm spending $120 per wheel or whatever it was to get it refinished because of the curb rash. There was a pretty bad curb rash on a few of them when I bought it. I actually didn't do any of it myself, which kind of sucks, but um, I knew about it when I bought it. She's like, well, if you're spending all this money, why don't you do something? Like, make it look like you spent the money. And to me, it makes it look like I spent the money when I literally have the most pristine, crispy wheels. I'll put a coating on it once I get them so they will clean up even easier than they did before. I always say, you know, go with your gut. And like, for me, you know, like, as Brandon, when I say go with your gut, like I knew deep down inside that like, I would probably blow the plan up if I went with gunmetal or black or something. It'd be cool for a little bit, but deep down inside, I feel like I'd regret it. So that's why that's kind of a little more information on uh, the black wheel situation here. 
This M3 will probably be sitting for the next week or so just because it's gonna be warm. And I mean, I haven't really done research on driving winter tires when it's warm out. Like if it's 60 or 70 or maybe 80, I mean, like, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm not gonna do it. I know, Mike, you're watching and uh, there's nothing to worry about. Today is Monday, I drove it today. And it was not too crazy, I only did a few burnouts. <laughs> Just kidding, I didn't do anything. I did, I did a few little pulls, but that was about it. Leave a comment below, tell me what you think. What are your favorite color wheels? Not on my car, on, on any car. Black, anthracite, gold, God forbid if you want red. You set in aluminum, um, any sort of gun metal. I mean, there's a lot, bronze, gold. I mean, there's so many different colors. Um, I'm kind of boring. I like the clean, classy, noticeable look to those guys. It's sort of like the sophisticated to me. If you have those bright, like when I did the gold wheels on the, or the bronze wheels on the Jeep, it just felt childish, kind of. I mean, it was cool at first, because it was like, ooh, that's cool, it's different but it just wasn't, it didn't feel comfortable. It felt, I felt out of place almost. But now, I like want to drive the Jeep. I think it looks so cool, it looks so much better now. It looks rugged, it looks proper, it looks intentional. It doesn't look like someone just rattle canned it. So anyways, all right, I'm done ranting. I'm done talking to you guys about wheels. The new wheels, which I will give you a full tour. I'm gonna to be doing a full coating on them. Right now the plan is to do Gion Rim. Uh, two coats on the wheels just so it's insanely easy to clean them and I'll do a full sort of um, a full tire detail I will scrub the tires inside and out everything will be pristine new rear tires it'll be so great I'm so excited so leave a comment below tell me your favorite color wheels in general what you think looks good what you think's like the best choice kind of in general or what car you have and what wheels you have and why I'm interested to see what you guys go with, maybe you're just boring, maybe you like just the aluminum look, whatever it happens to be, leave a comment below right now, like the video, and I will see you guys next time.